Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's me, the Gaming Pig, and once again, Funko is back to leaking their FNAF Security Breach merch because we now know what the plushies for Security Breach are actually going to look like. Um, all this and more in this video, but before we get started, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy content on the channel with all sorts of merch. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on with merch, whether it be uh, FNAF AR merch or Security Breach merch leaks. We got it all covered, and I plan to review all of this stuff uh, as it comes out, uh, which is a whole weird thing. We don't know when anything's coming out, but if you do want to stay tuned for all the updates and everything, uh, just make sure to stay subscribed. And with that being said, let's take a look at the Security Breach plushies. Now, these plushies are actually very good. All, uh, a little odd looking, but much better than I expected is what the main thing I'm going to say. Uh, I think they look pretty accurate, probably some of the most accurate stuff, but I mean, let's not waste any time. Let's just look at these plushies. We're going to start with Glamrock Freddy, and before I actually start, this is leaked on Funko's website. If you look up FNAF plush, you're going to find these guys, and there was a leaked image going around of them in the box, but I think what's more legit is it being on Funko's website. I mean, you know, this is as legit as it's going to get. Also, another interesting thing to note is that it says that these plushies are sold out, and these have just been revealed on Funko's website. So what I tend to think is they haven't even sold these yet, um, and it, that's just what they're saying for now. We don't have any expected release dates or anything, but without further ado, let's actually look at the plushie. So here he is. Here's Glamrock Freddy, the first one, and again, I think he's much better than what I expected. He, his face is very um, odd, his eyes are a little different than what I thought, but it looks cute. It's a tiny little simplified version of Glamrock Freddy. He has missing a few details, but they really tried to simplify it down, I think. And it actually really works. He has everything he's supposed to have, but it's simplified. Like, he doesn't have some of his handcuffs and his spikes, but overall he looks pretty good and uh i like i like everything about him i like his jaw his jaw his kind of snout area is something that we really haven't seen before and i like it quite a lot i'm not sure if if the uh details on his face and the zigzag on his chest are prints we're not sure yet there are some plushies which have obvious prints which we'll get to in just a moment but yeah this glamour Freddy's plushie honestly i think it looks really really good so let's move on speaking of the glamrocks to Glamrock Chica. So, Glamrock Chica also looks better than I expected, but she's very, very much printed. You can tell just by looking at her shirt that it's easy, it's it's clearly printed, guys, okay? Um, very, somewhat disappointing there, but overall, the details do look good, but you can easily tell just by kind of squinting at it, it's definitely printed. Um, I do like the body design, though. They went with, like, a Toy Chica-style design, and uh, you can tell it with the beak and everything, but it works. And this is basically what she's supposed to look like. The hair and the bow are a little off to the, off kind of tilted to the side for some reason, a little weird, but it does look good. It looks decently accurate, and there's a lot of printing with it, which is too bad, but overall, it's pretty, pretty decent. And uh, yeah, again, it, it's, it's pretty simplified compared to the actual design. Uh, but it's not missing much, especially Glamrock Chica. Okay, so let's move on to Montgomery Gator. So, Montgomery Gator is very interesting because we've never had a, a mold like this, you know? Um, the, like, with the jaw and everything, with the face shape. It's very, very cool. Honestly, I think they did a pretty good job with it. Um, again, simplifying it. He doesn't have his handcuffs with the spikes which is too bad, but it does look pretty good. I can't tell if he's printed. Uh, the scales on his pants look a little printed, but it might not be. We don't know. And uh, I love his sunglasses and his kind of zigzag on his uh, face there. It's all pretty good. I think he's a pretty decent design, and uh, I am honestly decently impressed. This is a pretty good looking one overall. So the next one is Roxanne Wolf. So... Roxanne Wolf is printed very clearly, like, you can easily tell. Her face is good, her head is good, her hair is a little printed, her, her clothing is a little bit printed, her arms and legs are printed, which is a very odd choice. Like, they didn't have to do that, but for some reason they did, which, printing is not good, by the way, guys. It makes the plushies look cheap. 
and it especially does here. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it just, like, the face kind of reminds me of, uh, Rockstar Foxy, I guess. And it works, though. It, it looks pretty accurate, honestly. It looks more accurate than the action figure, for sure. Um, so they did a pretty decent job with her just a lot of printing on her body and i'm not a huge fan of what they did with that but let's move on to vanny vanny was a very interesting one and looking at it i somewhat like it it's a little weird and i honestly really really like the character vanny but this plushie um it's a little off now she does have her eyebrows you can just barely tell but she does have her eyebrows um she has all the different stitching colors somewhat some are missing or some don't really have the same detail but again they they really tried to simplify it and it doesn't look bad the head shape is very weird uh in my opinion <laughs> something just is very off about that head shape there it's very uh pear shaped i guess not a huge fan of that and the body is kind of small uh, for some reason, like, smaller than the others, but the head is pretty big. Overall, though, it is accurate with the eye color. The snout is honestly a cool little new snout design that I think it looks okay. It's not my favorite, but it looks okay. So, yeah, these are the plushies, and all of them say, like, if you actually read uh, product details on Funko's website, you can read that it says, If animatronics and action figures are not your preferred keeps keepsake consider collecting five nights at freddy's security Re breach plush vanny in this case but that they change it for each plushie um the plush are safer way to keep your favorite animatronic characters close collectible plush is six inches tall so yes they're all six inches tall just like the very average plushies and um the description doesn't really say too much about anything and, uh, yeah, we don't have any other information. We don't know when these are coming out. We don't know anything. These are quote-unquote sold out. Though, again, they, they've just been leaked. I don't imagine that hundreds of people have been pre-ordering these. You can't pre-order these on GameStop's website either. If you are to look at GameStop's website, there's no details. There's no expected release date. Um, it's, it's all very odd. That, like, you can't even see the official design on GameStop's website, which is an another weird thing. This is all very odd. But we're kind of figuring things out as we go along. Um, but yeah, that's the official designs of the plushies. They look really good. And uh, yeah, so I'm just pretty excited for these. I think that um, most of them look good. Uh, they, they all are very different. They have different designs and prints and stuff, which honestly, I'm a pretty big fan of most of these guys. My favorite is probably... I'd have to say Glamrock Freddy, and then maybe Vanny, just because I, I think Vanny is a cool design in general, but uh, the shaping of her body is a little off, but the others are pretty good also, that I just noticed more printing with a lot of them. Uh, so yeah, that's my opinion, what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments below, and uh, yeah, without further ado, I will see you guys next time, have a great day, take care, bye.